Hi there, Searcher Anglers. This is Steve Carson here on the famous docks in San Diego, getting ready for a big season and probably the, the most exciting fish that most of you are going to be after this year is going to be those bigger bluefin tuna. And we love the bluefin tuna no matter what size they are, if they're 15 pounds, if they're 30 pounds, if they're 50 pounds, we still love them. But I know what you're thinking. You want to catch a big one. So there's a couple of different rigs that you want to make sure that you have when you go out on the searcher and anything like bluefin tuna are going to be on the menu. So you got to be ready. First one is your heavy outfit. And uh, what I've got here is a pen torque 40 narrow. Lots of you have the pen fathom 40 narrow two speed. Uh, that's a good one too. The way I've rigged that up is I, I put about 450 to 500 yards of 80 pound test braid on there. Then I've got about a 20, 25 yard top shot of 60 or 80 pound test monofilament. Uh, and big one here is you want to make sure you've got a rod with an extended foregrip so that you can use the rail as part of your arsenal of fighting the fish. Trust me on this, two speeds and an extended foregrip is a must once the tuna are over 100 pounds. You'll thank me when you, fi when you finally hook one. Uh, this particular one, remember on any rod, you want the line to be in the middle of the line rating. So this is a seven foot eight. I don't know if we can show the whole thing, but that's okay, seven foot eight, rated 40 to 100. That means 60 and 80 pound test are right in the middle. And I use this for either any of the various bluefin jigs and there's, and, and just, I'm gonna go like this. This is, look, look on the searcher channel for other videos. I'm going like this, look for the searcher channel uh, on, uh, on bluefin jigs. Uh, jigs up to about 300 grams, which is about 10 ounces. I'm using this rig for bluefin up to maybe 175, at the most 200 pounds, I'm using this rig. It's for what it is, it's relatively light. I can fish with it all night if I need to, just hoping for that one bite. This is also the perfect rig. Again, look on the Searcher channel. Uh, for uh, Art's done some excellent videos on what's called the sinkered bait rig, where you use anywhere from a four to a 16 ounce sinker with a live sardine. This is the rig that you're gonna wanna use this with. Very, very versatile. Don't leave the dock without it. Now, what happens if the tuna are a little bit deeper and you have to use bigger jigs or they're even bigger than 200 pounds. What do you do then? Well, then you get what I call the extra heavy rig. And that is a, that's a Penn International 16 VISX reel. I fill that one up with a hundred pound test braid. And then the top shot is even a little bit shorter. I don't know if you can really see that. Top shot's only about maybe 10 yards or less of anything from 100 to 130 pound test monofilament. And I'm gonna use that when I'm using jigs from 300 to as much as 400 grams. That is a heavy jig. But you know what, when the captain says, I'm reading big ones down at 400 feet, you better have a jig that can get down there and get to them. As far as the rod goes, once again, Nice, long, extended foregrip so I can lay that rod on the rail. This one is seven feet long. I know some of you still have those short five foot two inch rods from uh, the 1980s. Those are not really that suitable for this. You need to be able to get around the corner and around your fellow anglers. So seven feet is about the, the, the most common length for that. Um, and again, because I'm using generally a hundred pound test line would be the most common for me to use with this. I'm using a rod that's rated for 80 to 130. Okay, so again, I'm in the middle of my line rating, not on my low end, not on my high end. Um, and that one is good for tuna up to about 300 pounds. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what if they're bigger than 300 pounds? Or, you know what, that doesn't look heavy enough for me. Okay, guys, I confess, I'm really old. This is the heaviest thing. If I'm on the rail of the searcher all night long from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. trying to get that one bite, this is the heaviest thing I'm gonna be able to use. That, that's just the reality of it. And I have caught tuna up to over 300 pounds with it. So that's the good news. Some of you are maybe a little bit younger, maybe a little bit stronger. I get PMs, I get DMs, I get emails from a lot of you out there you know what? I just don't think that 16 is big enough. I want to catch a 350 pounder. Okay. 
If that's the case, there's the Penn International 20 VISX. Some of you may even use the 30 VISX. Uh, I will fill that one up with 130 pound braid and then my top shots are usually fairly short of 130 pound and um, still, I'm still on a seven foot rod but this time it's rated 80 to 150. So once again that 130 pound test line is right in the middle of the line rating. Again I got a nice long extended foregrip there to uh, fight the fish on the rail. I can fish with this for not very long. If you're, again, if you're on the rail of the searcher in the middle of the night, no matter how much coffee you've, you've had, uh, it's going to take a little bit more strength, a little bit more endurance to fish all night long for that one giant bite. If you want to do it, great, because even when you hook that 300, 350 pounder, with, when you have a rig like this, you're going to, have, you're going to be able to, uh, to control him and you're going to land him. So more power to you. I'm going to be using that 16 that I showed you earlier, but certainly there's there's plenty of people that are going to be using this. Uh, certainly the crew of the searcher is never unhappy when you're using the heaviest possible gear on those big bluefin tuna. So hoping for another year of giant bluefin tuna on the searcher. Maybe we'll see you out there.